Derek was tall, muscular, and very handsome, and Jenny couldn't help but feel attracted to him. Well, hey, I mean, you know, any guy that looks like that, how can you not be attracted to him? I mean, look at him. What's going on, guys? Welcome back to another terrifyingly tragic, terrible video on my terrific channel. But anyways, before we get started, guys, if you enjoy my videos, please make sure you leave a like, for Ma if, if not for my sake, at least for Max's sake, okay, please? And without further ado, let's get started with today's story. Jenny was about 15 years old when her dad started dating her future stepmom. She was so excited because her dad told her that the woman he was dating had a son, and she never had any siblings before, so the idea that she might one day have a brother really excited her. Yeah, okay, well, that's a good start. It's always cool when you find out your mom or dad is uh, dating somebody and they have siblings and you might have a brother or sister or a relationship. One day, Jenny's dad brought her future stepmom to their house along with her son, Derek. Upon first seeing Derek, Jenny was flabbergasted. She had never seen such a hot guy before. Derek was tall, muscular, and very handsome. And Jenny couldn't help but feel attracted to him. Well, hey, I mean, you know, any guy that looks like that, how can you not be attracted to him? I mean, look at him. As her dad and future stepmom were preparing dinner, Jenny and Derek started talking, getting to know each other. And to Jenny's surprise, Derek was super easy to get along with. And on top of that, it seemed like he was genuinely interested in everything she was saying. She felt as if she had somehow found the one. Okay, come on, Jenny, listen, just calm thyself. Take it down a notch, okay? Any dude that is so good looking that they look like Squidward after he got the clay surgery, uh, that's, that's not a good thing. Second of all, uh, and probably more important, uh, future stepbrother. Yeah. Over the next few weeks, Jenny and Derek started getting closer and closer, hopefully not physically. And one day, Jenny decided she had to tell Derek how she felt, even though she knew it was wrong. She called Derek to meet her at a park. When he arrived, she slowly but surely explained how she felt and that she liked him from day one. To Jenny's surprise again, Derek revealed that he liked her too. What the f- He liked- Oh my god, bad Derek Squidward look-alike ass. Jenny was so caught off guard by this, and even more so when Derek leaned in to kiss her. That day, they made out at the park, and for the first time, they didn't care what people thought. Until the next day hit. Jenny and Derek both realized that if they told their parents about them, it would cause catastrophic problems in their family. So, they made a pact to keep their love a secret from their parents for as long as they could. Okay, well, that's pretty obvious. A secret that important of that stature is definitely not gonna be a secret for very long. Six months later. Okay, I was wrong. Sue me. About six months later, Jenny's dad and Derek's mom had finally gotten married, and they were officially a family. Shortly after the wedding, Derek and his mom moved in together with Jenny and her dad. Derek moved into a room down the hall from Jenny, and her new stepmom now shared the master bedroom with her dad. Despite dating her own stepbrother and having to keep it a secret from the world, it did have its advantages. Oh yeah, like what? You don't have to ever text each other? For example, when their parents went out, Jenny and Derek would show their love as much as they wanted to each other, and they could kiss in peace. The world is ending, folks. This is proof. It went on like this for several weeks, until one day Jenny wanted to take it a step further. Oh gosh. She talked to Derek about it, and they both agreed that the next time their parents left the house together, they'd have the night to themselves, and do some, uh, Netflix and chill is all we're gonna say. The night their parents were getting ready to leave, Jenny was so happy and excited, and couldn't wait for them to step out the front door. Her parents told them that they'd be home around 9 and to finish all of their homework. Jenny and Derek both told their parents not to worry and have fun at their dinner. And then, they left. And this, ladies and gentlemen, is one of several photos taken right before disaster. Jenny and Derek immediately began kissing and in no time went from making out on the couch to heading up to their parents' bedroom. Because, after all, it was a queen size. That's literally what it says in the story. Little did Jenny know, her father had actually forgotten his wallet and had to turn the car around to go back and get it. As Jenny and Derek were starting to get it on upstairs, her dad walked in from the front door, took his shoes off quickly, and headed upstairs. Jenny and Derek had turned on some music, so they didn't hear her dad approaching. Once he got to the door, he heard the music and asked who was in there. Jenny and Derek quickly tried to hide, but it was too late. Her dad walked in on them doing it! Well, at least it can't get any worse, right? Now they know the truth. A few weeks later, Jenny's dad and Derek's mom decided to get a divorce. Okay, I was wrong again. Sue me for everything I have, okay? 
Jenny and Derek's actions had cost their parents their marriage, but that didn't stop them from seeing each other. What? What do you mean it did? You got your parents to divorce and you're still gonna do it? In fact, it made their relationship stronger. Now, they had nothing holding them back. If there is a chance that aliens ever come into contact with uh, human humanity, and this is the first video you see, uh, this is not a representation of all of us. I just want you to know. Although they both feel bad about causing their parents to divorce, they hope that one day they'll accept their relationship for what it is. Yeah, for what it is? You mean a big pile of steaming Anyways, guys, that'll about do it for the story. If you enjoyed it, leave a like, hit that thumbs up, subscribe if you're new, turn on my post notifications so you're never late, and let me know what you think about this story down below in the comments. What do I think about it? Well, you know, I mean, it's, um, at least it was kind of realistic, you know, like there definitely wasn't, there, there, there couldn't be like a completely happy ending with this kind of situation, you know, I mean, just, just look at it. So I guess like, you know, I'm not too surprised. I mean, something you guys have to realize that it's not like movies where you can get away with like fairy tale endings, but you know, in real life, um, real actions have real consequences and that's kind of what you're seeing in this story. Despite Jenny and Derek, you know, really being attracted to each other, really liking each other, you know, in order for them to keep that, uh, they had to do so at the cost of their parents' marriage. So basically their parents suffer so that the kids can be happy together in a relationship that they don't even know is gonna last a long time, so that's great. But anyways, I can understand the parents. I mean, if you walked in on your kid doing it with the you know, stepsister, stepbrother. Yeah, that might cause me to divorce you, I don't know. I haven't been there, so I can't really speak. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching, and until next time, I will see you in the next video video. All right. Take care. Sayonara. And thanks for stopping by. Yo, what up guys? Welcome back to the vlog. Forgive me for being in this cramped area with Max. I just, I had a great idea for a vlog. I went to this really great sushi place and I was going to vlog it, but then I forgot. And then I realized I didn't even have my camera with me. So that didn't turn out. So I figured, you know what? I have to show you something for carry time. So I figured I would show you a little bit of, um, Maybe me walking around, giving Max a walk, and um, you know, exploring the town. Right now, we're currently at the uh, Gotcha Shop, which is like a little place that you put in a coin, and you get a thingy out of the dispenser, and hopefully you get lucky. But uh, to be honest, it's kind of a ripoff, so I don't recommend it. This was the quietest place we could find, and Max, say hello. You're on the block. Max, you okay? Max, who's a good boy? Max, who's a good boy? Max. Guys, uh, sorry again, forgot my camera. Next time on Terry Time, I'll do something a little bit more exciting. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed watching Max run around like crazy, uh, doing his own thing. Hopefully, I didn't get any shots of him, oh, shots of him, you know, uh, that are too, uh, 
invading of his privacy. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching and until next time, see you guys in the next video. Good night.